Okay, so here we have the second exercise of homework number five. And this one is a little bit different. If you check the data, you will see that this one is a bit different because we don't have a forward rate, right? We have the initial investment of 1 million pounds. We have the spot rate of Polish Slotty and British pounds, but we don't have a forward rate. We even have the interest rates, but we don't have the forward, right? So if we don't have the forward, we need to, uh, it's going to be a different strategy. When we don't have a forward, it's called uncover interest arbitrage, or we call it UIA. The other one was called CIA, cover interest arbitrage. It's covered because it doesn't have any risk. And why? Because we have the forward. But in here, what happens is that maybe someone doesn't like to have uh, a forward that can limit your profits. So maybe someone can say, what if I let the market work and let's see what happens. So I won't buy a forward by the end of my strategy. I will leave it like that and let's see what happens. So this is what we are going to do in here. The, the assumption is that this strategy, in this strategy you do the same thing. You start with money, in this case in the UK, you invest in the UK, you calculate how much you will get in the UK, and then you do the other thing. What if I go to Poland and I invest in Poland and then I go back to the UK? But when we go back to the UK, we have to be careful because we don't have forward, so we don't know what's going to happen. So I'm going to ask you two things. The first thing is, what is the balance exchange rate? I will explain that in a second. And the other thing is, Simulate the strategy, like simulate what will happen if in, in the future this is the rate. So it, we are going to use this as if it is your forward rate. Let me do the exercise and maybe it will be clear for you. So first we're going to start again with 1 million, but now it's pounds, it's not dollars anymore, be careful. And the first thing as always is to, um, is to invest in the local country, which is the UK. So now I'm going to do the future value formula. What the British rate, as you can see here, we don't have bid and ask, and we don't have to time frame. So it's very straightforward. It's very simple. So it will be the British rate is 0 0.01 times 42 over 360. So this is the amount of pounds that I will get if I stay, if I keep my investment in the UK. But now what will happen if I go to Poland and then I invest in Poland? So to do that, I need to convert my pounds into, um, into slotties. So 1 million pounds. Now I need to multiply, right? Because I have pounds at the bottom and pounds on top. So I need to multiply. 5.00291. This is the amount of slotty that I can have if I stay, if I go to Poland. And then I need to invest in Poland. As you can see, this is exactly the same steps as previously. The only one that, that is going to change is the next one. But when I calculate my investment in Poland, it will be the, this number times one plus the Polish rate. The Polish rate is 4%, 0.04 times 42 over 360. And this is the amount of uh, slotty that I will have. Okay. So we don't know what to do after this because we don't have the forward, right? So we need to be careful. Uh, in the uncover interest arbitrage, we don't have the, um, the forward. So what we are going to do is first to calculate the balance exchange rate. What is the meaning of the balance exchange rate? Which will be the exchange rate where I don't make profit or loss. So how do you calculate this? It's very simple. You have to divide the two future values in the two currencies and that will be your exchange rate. So in this case, I will start the division with the Polish Slotty because the exchange rate that I have, the, the one that I have on the spot, has Slotty on top. So that's why I start the division with Slotty. So Slotty over pound 
it's 5.04666. That will be the balance, uh, the balance exchange rate. Why? Because with this, I don't make any profit. And to prove that, I will convert this amount of slot into pounds. And as you can see, it's exactly the same amount. Okay, so then I will conclude for a question, question A that the balance exchange rate is 5.04668813. And now the second question, so a question B says that, can you simulate the arbitrage but assuming that in day 42, the rate is 5.2039? So what we are going to do is to assume that this is the future rate so similar as if it were your 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 future your forward rate so we are going to convert the slots using this rate and let's see if we make a profit well no we don't make a profit if that is the rate so we get a loss of this and this will be the answer to question B. Okay, so uh, as you can see, it's very similar. It's the uncover interest arbitrage. And the only thing that happens is that in this last step, it's a bit different. We'll have the forward. So the first thing that I ask you is to calculate the balance exchange rate. And the other thing is to simulate what will happen if any given rate is like your forward rate. So that will be, this will be the answer to exercise two of homework five. Um, I, I, think, I think it's not necessary to do a video for the table because it's very simple. So if you have any questions, just let me know by email or let's meet on Zoom.